Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. So I've just got some Mars black and some phthalo blue and some titanium white and I'm making this sort of a greyish blue colour. Might throw a little bit of red in it as well. Something like that. It's sort of a... Uh, it's a bit misty. And, uh, and there's a nice big tree here, <laughs> so I thought, hmm, I might do this one today. I feel like doing something a little bit different, because you kind of have a tendency to do the same kind of paintings, and uh, I like to experiment with different skies, different scenes. And then uh, you can have fun and practice. <laughs> it's all about the practice, isn't it? It's all about practicing different paintings and different ideas. Just gone a little bit darker at the top there. And just uh filling that in. So just a little bit of the uh, phthalo blue, a little bit of the Mars black, and a little bit of red, and a little bit of white. And that's the, uh, the colour mixture for that. Okay, so and now what I've got is I've actually got a little train here. <laughs> That's why I took the picture. I was waiting there mate, for ages and I was thinking oh this would be quite good to take a picture of a tree here and I thought oh, I wonder if the train's gonna come because there's a regular train that comes down here and there it was and I was like yes. <laughs> I got the picture. So, using the uh, sky colour, get a little bit of yellow ochre in it, and I'll use this as my background tree colour. There's a load of trees back here. And I don't want them to uh, be too strong. I just want them to stay out there in the background. Sort of put some shape in it. A little bit of shape, but not too much.
Okay, so these little bit of darker ones there. Because you can put a little bit of uh, Mars black in your colour and go a bit darker. But what I want now, I want like a uh, bit of a greeny, maybe a little bit of the blue in it. Greeny blue. Bit of white. Oh, that's uh, too much white. <laughs> We'll go back to the blue again. Oh, that's looking closer actually. The phthalo blue is so strong. <laughs> I forget how strong it is. I have to be careful. I'm so used to using either ultramarine blue or cobalt blue. Probably ultramarine blue I use the most. But I've, uh, I've unearthed a load of my old paint so <laughs> might as well use them. Quite a few of them have dried up. Shows how long ago I thought I could do acrylic painting. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bit of a shock actually when I first started painting. I had a real big shock. Because I'd, I'd see people doing it thinking, oh that looks easy. And then I tried it and I was like, no, that's not easy. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, we've got our background in. I'm going to put some trees in front of this. So I need some yellow ochre, some of the Mars black maybe. See what that looks like. It's that green, yellow ochre, Mars black. A bit more yellow ochre. some trees in Just using the corner of my brush, a little bit darker in there. I might go a little bit darker for a sort of a dark green tree and maybe go in front of this one. Oh, that's not, not worked, <laughs> it's not dark enough. A bit more of a, a bit more dark, there we go, it's a bit of blue in that. Maybe there's one like that there as well. And a few. Okay, and you could go into quite a lot of detail with these distant ones, but you got to remember they are distant trees. So yeah, sometimes it's best to just suggest it, but I'm uh, <laughs> I'm 
I'm not the best for uh, advice on being uh, suggesting stuff because a lot of the time now I suggest things and then I start painting and painting and painting <laughs> and I get I get more into it and uh, it's tricky isn't it knowing when to stop I never used to think that was an issue knowing when to stop but I think as I've um, improved a bit as a painter I'm starting to find that an issue and uh, I found uh, that I improved more as a painter by painting outside by plain air painting and uh, I didn't realize how important that would be for me to do plain air painting but it has made a big difference into my way of painting because when you're out there uh, painting away I suppose it gives you that extra motivation to paint as well because sometimes you might think oh I don't want to do any painting because what's the point <laughs> what, what, what's the point but I enjoy it so remember that it's enjoyable I think it's good to remember that but then you can give yourself a bit of a challenge as well it's good to give yourself challenges as an artist and I think doing plain air painting is a good challenge and, and that's why it's really made me better it's increased my painting mileage I think when you really think about it <laughs> I know you don't want to think too much but <laughs> so we've got another plane of land there now I'm just throwing in a bit of yellow ochre and white into my colour Okay, and then it gets a bit darker in front of this. So I just wash my brush and then I use a bit of uh, an old tea towel to uh, wipe it after to get rid of the water. And uh, just spray my paints quickly. Don't want them to dry out on me. <laughs> Let's get some uh, yellowy brown, sort of a yellowy brown colour. And we'll uh, put in a few bushes in here. You know, I mentioned suggesting things. <laughs> That's me suggesting it. lighter back here and then uh, maybe throw in some lighter 
bits here and there. And then a little bit of white in with that colour. And then we go a bit lighter in here. in that with the white to uh, get some green at the bottom some sap green and some yellow ochre Let's see what that looks like first yeah that looks pretty good get that all the way up to there It's a bit of a darker bit. I suppose it's where the grass has been cut and it's a bit rougher along here. Let's get a bit more of the green. Something like that. There's a nice uh, bit of light. Just get a little bit of white in my colour. It's a nice bit of light that just goes shing along there. leave that in something like that and now we can start on the uh, the tree or oh, should we do the train first <laughs> I think I'll do the train first actually so the train is a, a bit of blue bit of this uh, thalo blue will probably do maybe a bit of red in it It's probably a bit better actually. So we've got the train. I wonder if I could change the train. <laughs> mm, nah, it'd be alright.
blobbed a little bit of blue there by accident. I'll have to clean that up afterwards. It would be the the uh, this blue, wouldn't it? The strongest blue in the world. <laughs> Thalo blue. Never mind. Something like that. I want some red. I'll get some of this red. There's a blob of water there that stopped me from putting the paint on. I wondered what was going on. <laughs> that was annoying. Might have to wait for it to dry a little bit. Uh, use a smaller brush. train and then sort of under the train is quite dark as well darkish bluish colour for the top of the train. It's mostly uh, the Mars black. And there's a couple of yellow doors. I might do a bit of a lighter blue as well. so I can see it a bit better. That's looking a bit more train-like. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to look more like a train. <laughs> Getting a little bit of yellow, yellow ochre. It's going to be awkward to put on, I think. Get this door. I don't think it's yellow enough. Just 
wipe some of my paint away and then uh, go into a bit of the dark and then I can do this door here on the front like a couple of windows and I can clean this up here light there maybe this blue can be a bit lighter hmm. Hmm. no I quite like it I'm just gonna put some sort of window light in dark on the front of the train <laughs> I've actually made this a bit small but never mind I do quite like it <laughs> it's a tiny little carriage now <laughs> well if you do one you could do yours a bit better detail I know this looks a bit splodgy to be fair <laughs> and it is but you can still have the fun and do these little details and stuff leave that for now as like a uh, <laughs> I'm tempted you know to change the train into one of the like that's the carriage and then have one with a chimney and then I could add smoke and stuff I don't know
There we go, I think I'll leave it at that. Leave it in that one, just assume there's a train there. <laughs> Okay, let's do the tree, but you can change that train, you can do a, a different types of trains can't you, whatever you like. Okay, now let's... So we've got a few branches there, you can uh, pick out the ones you want to do. Just going to grab some uh, green, green and dark. Whoops. Just spraying my paints just so they don't dry out. And uh, I'm going to just put this on top of this. Get the basic shape of the tree in. I do really like this tree. <laughs> I've stopped and taken pictures of it loads of times. This is actually one of the trees. I stopped to take a picture of it once and there was uh, all these birds on it because I thought to myself, how come there's loads of leaves on the tree? Why? Why, where have all these leaves come from? And I looked again and I was like, oh wait, they're not leaves. Got a bit of yellow ochre on my brush and just slopping that in a bit. <laughs> Trying to be that loose painter again. Get a bit of green, a bit of blue. And now I'm going to go into a smaller brush. Go for this brush, I think, and then I can start bringing out a bit more of the yellowy green onto the leaves. Because it's just about turning autumn. I'm just doing these little wiggly strokes. Just to indicate a bit of light hitting some areas. Mm, lost the light, I mean I've lost the dark over there so I need to come back and do that. Just 
saw the tiny touch of red in that as well. Dark. See, so this tree has sent that train back, so we don't have to worry about it now. <laughs> Just going through all these little details and looking at the tree, finding the shapes. Okay, quite like that actually. It's looking pretty good. I might add a little bit more light. A little bit more of the yellow and I'll just show you my palette. A little bit more of the yellow and red. Tiny bit of white as well. few of these shades of colour where it's just turning to autumn as well. So we've got that on there. more light on my uh, brush just to clean this bit up here <laughs> I'll just sit back a little bit and have another look at that train <laughs> I'm not that keen on it at the moment and I feel like it needs a bit bit of work. What I might do is bring it out a bit more here. Put that door in. Mm, you got it there, haven't we? I might put it there instead. So 
front of the train <laughs> which is going to be here now light on the front of the train <laughs> I'm enjoying this actually I enjoy the fact that you can try and fix stuff if you're not quite happy with it you can go back in and try and fix it, it doesn't always work <laughs> sometimes it looks like you're making a meal out of it but you know it's it's part of the challenge isn't it so I can get that door more now. I feel like this needs darkening here. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That's a little bit better, isn't it? It looks a little bit better. It's not that accurate, but never mind. I enjoyed myself. Now I might put a little bit of a bird in the background. There's always a lot of birds here. Might have one over there. This is actually an area where I saw quite a lot of buzzards. It was amazing actually. <laughs> I was trying to get a photo of them but wherever I went they disappeared. Just adding a bit of light there. A bit of a, a duller version in here. Okay, I think that's about it. I think we're about done.
bit more green in that. Okay. <laughs> mm, having too much fun now. Doing all these little bits. Like I was saying, you know, you try to uh, keep things simple, but when you get going, you just you start seeing more and more, and you want to add more and more. But yeah, it's got the uh, the essence of everything in there now, though. It has got the essence of it. I quite like it. Might put another tree in there. I think we're about there. We're about done. There's one little thing. <laughs> There's one little tiny thing that I reckon I could do. Let's add a strip of light just going along there. Something like that. Just to help that train out a little bit. <laughs> so, I think we're about done now. Just, just Maybe, maybe this bit here, like this, beep. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done now. But I've enjoyed painting this, it's been fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.